Hello 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 and welcome to the video that will finally help you fix your relationship with your hating and biting bird. If your bird doesn't like hanging out with you and will try biting you with every chance it gets, then you should know how to stop all of the things that trigger it and makes your bird hate you in the first place. It can be frustrating and kind of painful when your pet bird bites you. We all obviously want to have a good time with our birds, and it's quite annoying when you get bitten by them. But it's also important to understand the reason your bird bites you before learning how to stop it. You're not confident enough. One of the main reasons your bird may bite you could be that you're not confident enough when approaching it. If your hands are shaky, or you're showing that you're afraid to get bitten by doing this, then your bird will sense it, and this will get you bitten in no time. You're showing it away. Another way you're causing your bird to bite is when you use your hands for punishment. If you use your hands to shoot them away, or even being more aggressive than that, like flicking your fingers, or even worse, throwing stuff on it, this will obviously cause your bird to defend itself, and it will be aggressive towards you, which is what we don't want from our pet bird. You're not reading the signs. Your bird will usually signal with its body language that it doesn't want you to get close. When you notice your bird signals to you that it doesn't want anything to do with you, that will be the time to let go and give your bird some space. It's territorial. Your bird can also bite because it's being protective towards its personal space. If you're entering your hand inside its cage for whatever reason, and it tries to bite you, that means that it's being territorial, which is completely normal. In the wild, they are protecting their nest sites and chicks from predators. And that's why they may attack you if you're entering your hands into their personal space. Your bird is just playful. Your bird uses its beak for climbing and playing games and chewing stuff. It may hold onto your fingers or hands as well as a part of a game. Some birds may be gentle about it, while other birds might not notice how hard they're biting while they're playing with you. Now you know most of the reasons why your bird may bite you, so you can start handling it more properly to prevent any future bites. But if you're still not sure how to fix it, make sure to subscribe for a follow-up video on how to stop your bird from biting. There are a lot of reasons why your bird may hate you. And it's really up to you, or even your vet, to find out why and to take care of it. But here are the most common reasons why your bird may hate and fear its owner. You're disturbing your bird's sleep. One of the best ways to make your bird hate you is disturbing its sleep at night while it's trying to get some rest. Birds are very sensitive creatures and they can get very annoyed and nervous if you bother them by turning on the lights, being too loud, or even getting near their cage. You're chasing and grabbing your bird. I'm always coming back to this one. Chasing and grabbing a bird gives it the sense that you are a predator. Unless your bird is tamed and allows you to hold it, never attempt to do so. Your bird is traumatized. Your bird may be traumatized from the pet store or a previous owner. Whether it be a person handling it improperly in the past, grabbing it or even clipping its wings, all of those things can affect your bird's behavior towards you in the present. You're not spending time with your bird. It's pretty obvious that not spending enough time with your bird causes it to lose its trust in you and not being used to your presence. And that's one of the reasons why your bird may not love you, or even hate you. You're bothering your bird. Not spending enough time with your bird is bad, but spending too much time with your bird 
and bothering it is also not very good. Birds are just like humans. They need space to breathe too. So you should pay attention to when your bird is starting to get fed up with you and giving it some time to mind its own business. Your bird is molting. When the time comes and your bird is starting to grow pin feathers, it might be in pain and discomfort, and can become less friendly and more aggressive. So do your best to make it as comfortable as possible by giving it baths and not bothering it as much as usual. Your bird is too bored. Sometimes your bird might seem to hate you and become aggressive because it's feeling bored inside the cage. So make sure your bird has a big cage with plenty of toys to unload its aggression on. And of course, let your bird spend most of its day outside of its cage too. You're punishing your bird. Having a bird that bites or yells all day isn't easy, especially if it's a big one. But experts found that punishing a bird doesn't seem to improve its behavior, but it actually does the opposite. If you punish your bird, it gets the attention at once and next time it will repeat its bad behavior. You are forcing your bird. No one likes to be touched unwillingly or have random foods get shoved into their mouths, including birds. Never attempt forcing your bird to do things that it signals it's not comfortable with doing. It's just your bird's personality. Whether you like it or not, Birds have different personalities and some birds may just be less friendly and more aggressive than others. If your bird is like that, it doesn't necessarily mean that it hates you, but just that it requires a different kind of attention and care. Remember the day you got your bird for the first time? You probably thought your relationship would look like this but it actually turned out to be the complete opposite. Your bird is biting you and hurting you, and that may be a big letdown. Well, good news! Here are three ways to stop your bird from biting. Ignore, don't react. The most recommended way of handling a biting bird is simply to ignore it. We all know that it can be very painful when your bird bites, especially if it's a big one. But experts still suggest that when a bird bites, the owner should not react at all. Try your hardest not to make a sound, or to pull your hand, or even to shake the bite off. If you'll be doing so, you may be giving the bird the reaction it was looking for. Your bird bites you every time because it knows it hurts, and that's what's keeping you away. So the best way to prevent future bites is just to show your bird that its bites don't affect you. Use protection. If you can't control yourself from not reacting to a bite, or if your bird is a big one and can cause some serious damage with its beak, you should think of using protection while handling it. Instead of using your finger as a perch for your biting bird, try to use an actual perch. That way, your bird won't be able to bite you. And you can also try to use gloves, whatever ones you have. Only use the gloves for perching your bird, and not for grabbing or holding it, because your bird will hate you for that. Distract it. If you know your bird is about to bite, you can try to distract it by offering it a treat or a toy. The trick here is to provide distractions, and your bird will forget that it even wanted to bite you in the first place and that will also cheer it up and make it less aggressive towards you. It is very important to make sure that you are providing a treat before it bites you and not after, otherwise your bird might think it's being rewarded for biting. Don't forget that every bird has its own personality, and some can be less friendly or hormonal, which may result in biting. You can also click here for 5 reasons your bird may bite you to learn more on how to avoid triggering your bird.